Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and I do like video games and in today's video we're checking out Robin Hood Sherwood Builders on Xbox Series S. I, I see it's getting weird reviews. I see on one hand it's getting pretty solid reviews and then it's also getting quite terrible reviews. And I'm sure the reality is it's probably meeting somewhere in the middle. But I'm going to check it out for myself. I did play like, I don't know, maybe three minutes of it like I just booted it up and started a game and kind of walked a little bit but outside of that I haven't really done anything in the game I have no real opinion on it yet oh whoa it's a curse I don't like that I do not like a cursor on a console game it's one of the things I hate about Ubisoft and their Assassin's Creed games the last couple years all right, so this is uh, relatively low resolution. I don't know what resolution this is running at, but it's not it's not 1440p, I'll tell you that much. It's probably sub 1080p, probably more towards 720p. I'm not sure what I need to do, where I need to go. Uh, it is also running at 30 FPS. I will double check that there are if there are graphics options, I don't think there will be here. Oh? Oh, yeah, there's no graphics options. Outside of brightness and gamma. I also don't know much about this game. I mean, I'm judging by the name Sherwood Builders. I'm assuming it, there's some sort of building element. Some building and crafting element to the game. I don't know what kind of, like I said, I don't know what kind of game this is. I don't know if this is an RPG or if it's a sur survival game. I have no idea what this is. Okay, I think this might be a survival game. Okay, it's telling me I need to get 15 pine, chop trees, and collect wood. All right. I'm not the biggest fan of survival games. So, you know. It is what it is, I suppose. Like, I have no idea if I'm going the right way. I don't think I am. Whoa, what's down here? What's this? Locked with a mechanism. Okay, I think I see what I need to do here. This one, this one, this one, and that one. Nice, 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 nice. This stuff. Yeah, whatever, we're gonna take all of it. I'm not sure what to think of this game right now. I don't think I love it. But I don't hate it. I, and I've only played like 15 minutes. So it's tough to make a firm judgment on it. This feels like the type of game I could see myself turning this on. Not loving it, and honestly end up playing for, for like a couple hours. I could see that happening with this game. I need to find some deer. Oh. Oh, I just saw you. Come over here. Come over here and stand still. Please. I don't think, I don't know. I don't think deer are just always perpetually running. I feel like, I feel like deer kind of stop moving sometimes. I, 
I might not be able to do this. Oh, damn. What is that? Is that an enemy? Hey, I got one. That was the first deer I saw stand still on this game. Are you guys a couple of baddies? You better not hit me. You better not hit me. As I miss. As I miss again. Oh my god. I'm getting immersed. It's weird because the controls feel like janky and there's also no auto aim. Or if there is, it's really poor. I also feel like I heard an enemy behind me. The sound's throwing me off, too. It sounds like there's an enemy dead behind me right now. Like that way. Dude, get the fuck out of here, man. Like, that enemy was right there, but I could hear him, like, laughing way over there. You see that? That was a good shot right there. There we go. Got another. I'm just like running up on these deer. Running right up on them. Dude, the, the sound in this game is throwing me off so much. Like I swear there I swear the sound that I just heard made it sound like there was a deer right here. It's it's strange. Is this an early access? I'm not sure. I almost kind of hope that it is. Like, if this game's an early access, then, like, most of what I complained about, I can probably forgive. Um, but I don't remember seeing where this said early access. No. This is a full release, I think. Yeah, this is full release, version 1.0. See, uh, it's got it's got a lot of jank. It's got a lot of jank, and it's got a lot of things that need um sorted out. But then again, it's also like maybe this is the developer's first game. I'm not familiar with the developer. Maybe this is their first game, you know. And if that's the case, it's it's kind of hard to be super frustrated with it i mean it is frustrating it's a frustrating game but it's kind of hard to be like pissed or anything especially because i'm playing it for free pretty much all right but before i do this i think i'm gonna end the end the video here this is robin hood sherwood builders on xbox series s uh, it's running 30 fps it's running sub 1080p it looks a little blurry. There's ghosting. I noticed some ghosting. I probably should have said that in the moment while it was happening. But you might be able to see it. In fact, let me get into a more well-lit area. 
yeah, like you can kind of see some ghosting here as I'm turning my camera. Like you could kind of see like uh, some ghosting coming off of my character. I, I don't know. I feel like this game, this game feels like an early access release. And like I said, it doesn't seem like it is. This is version 1.0. By all accounts, that would be a full release. I don't know, guys. I feel like this is a game you're going to have to try it for yourself. Like I said, for me personally, I'm not loving this. But also at the same time, I could see myself turning this game on and just listening to a podcast or something and playing it for like two, three hours before I even know it. Uh, but leave it in the comments. I want to know what your thoughts on the game are. If you've played it, if you haven't, if you plan to, whatever the case may be. Leave that in the comments. Leave a like if you like the video. And if you're enjoying this kind of content and you want to stay up to date with it going forward over here on the channel, the best way to do that is consider subscribing. Consider ringing that notification bell because that helps you stay up to date with everything that happens over here on the channel. And it helps promote me in the algorithm, helps push the videos out to way more people. And I always, always, always appreciate that. With that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.